in New York, hustle is the language. We speak with our feet and pave the way for ideas with concrete dedication. Our struggles are potholes that keep us down only for a moment. We rise with style. We get dressed for our dreams and show up ready to create, to build together as a team, to choose persistence over fear, no matter what may come. So when they ask, why do the lights stay on in the city? We'll tell them, because over here, there's always more work to be done. My name is Stephen John Irby. I'm a, the co-founder of a magazine publication called Street Dreams Magazine, and I'm a full-time street photographer. Street photography to me is like the, the documentation of what's going on in your neighborhood or what's going on in just neighborhoods in general. What's happening in the environment that's constantly changing, street photographers become historians the most. I'm so connected to being in Europe since being born and raised from here. Um, my mom is from Brownsville, my dad's from Crown Heights, and, and I'm from Flatbush, and I grew up in New York, and I was surrounded by people of color all of my life, so to be able to document something, to, to show somebody a perspective from where I'm coming from, I know that's a very interesting perspective, so I just have that level of, of appreciation for it, really. When I tend to do, take my photos, I tend to see, I take photos of more sentimental moments that I know that could feel like they last forever, of you know, kids running through a sprinkler or people are pushing their shopping carts across the street or like something that has this sense of like people are getting along in their day-to-day -day life. The hustle of New York is something that you can't replicate it in any other place in the world. It's always this constant competition that you always kind of put yourself up against. And it adds a level of character that, like, you have it at birth, pretty much. You want it to be the best and also to be knowledgeable, but at the same time, you want it to be confident. I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't grow up in New York, and, and I'm, I'm really grateful for the hustle that it kind of just, like, infuses you with. It takes a lot of creative integrity for a street photographer to make money in this business because there's a lot of things that I feel like you're approached with that it comes down to uh, your creative integrity and what you really want to represent with your work. I had to sleep on my own couch for 18 months um, and sublet the room in my own apartment. Find my lane in, in order to be able to pursue my dreams and not feel bad about you know making money because I know this is a true form of a collaboration that is between somebody who respects my perspective and my artistry and also then I can communicate what they want to with their, uh, with their product and their brand. But street photography for me is a very raw feeling. New York just definitely gives a certain level of like an authenticity check that you have to do with yourself all the time because you don't want to play yourself. You, you don't want to look like an idiot um, amongst your family. You don't want to look at, like an idiot amongst your friends. So everything you have to do and everything that I do, I try to take it so seriously and, um, and it just had that level of hustle and grit that, so people know that I'm not playing around. <laughs> 